Hey guys, it's Christopho. Um, welcome to another Solaris tutorial. In this video, I'm going to explain generalized non playing characters. So, it will be a very short tutorial this time to explain the difference between um, both subtypes of NPCs here in the dialogue of non playing characters. You can choose the sprite, the name, and everything, and also this subtype. So, basically, <laughs> if the character is somebody, you pick usual NPC, and if it's uh, something, something solid that is not actually a human, um, you pick generalized NPC. So, why would you ever? Uh, um, make an, an, a non-playing character of something that's not human? Well, it's because there are a lot of entities that behave exactly like non-playing characters whose main feature is to uh, interact with the hero. So, for example, when you want to make a sign what is the difference really with a human. The main feature is the same, it's just um, something the hero can talk to. <laughs> so, sprite sign and generalized NPC, and it will show a dialogue, for example, uh, wel welcome, welcome sign. So let's say that this house is actually a library. So we'll put some books so that it's really a library. And we just have to create this dialogue. Library. Save. Okay, library. He just says library, and this is was this was the character from last tutorial. Um, so basically, even if it's, it's not really a human, it's not really a character. We call this a generalized non-playing character because it also has an interaction similarly to usual NPCs. And the only difference between both is that when you choose usual NPC somebody here, um, the character will have some uh, automatic behavior from the engine. If you pick generalized NPC, the engine will do uh, just a minimum, which is allow the hero to interact by pressing the action key when the action um, I mean when the the player presses the action key this action will be performed like we saw in the last chapter and uh, also you can only interact with the generalized NPCs um, from the direction that is selected here and it can be the special direction any so if in this example you can only read the sign from the south because it's looking down and yeah so the automatic behavior of human NPCs is for example the fact that they look towards you when you talk to them and also you can talk to them from any side even though they have a direction property here uh, for them it's just ge their initial direction actually of their sprite and there are some other differences mm, you can see them in the documentation but for example we will see in the next tutorial that when you move a character the sprite 
will automatically take an animation so this one is woman yellow stopped or walking automatically depending on whether they have a movement or not and also the sprite will automatically take the correct direction right up left down depending on their movement so it it's, it gives you uh, the common behavior for um, persons for people for people the hero is supposed to talk with and by the way they must have four direction always human npcs there are less there are, there are no such rules no such rules from for generalized npcs you are really free to do what you want with the sprite or even to put no sprite at all that's what we will we'll see in the second example actually and the second example is uh, to make a, a desk I mean uh, a counter for the library maybe something like this oops what's wrong here <laughs> I'm not sure what, what went wrong so we don't need this character but let's make another one it will be the receptionist um, maybe blue lady show dialogue due to 19 dot uh, receptionist and she will just say uh, I don't know what can I do for you receptionist hello sir what can I do for you okay so nothing new here um, and the only example of, of uh, the only reason of this example is that I also want to be able to talk from here so how can we do that we could um, the solution is to make a second NPC right here but it will not be a human this time and it will n it will not have any sprite so generalize NPC and the action is the same the same dialogue okay so did you spot the problem if I talk to her like this and then from here <laughs> she no longer looks at me because I talked to this one so how can we fix that um, the solution is to use a map script instead we have to do this from Lua but don't worry it's not hard um, oh this is a code from last time actually we will still need the on an in on interaction event and let's call this NPC desk and the other one receptionist not villager 2 actually it was called villager 2 because I copy pasted from this one who, who had a name villager so it was named villager 2 and this one villager 3 initially so desk on interaction when we talk to the desk which is a generalized NPC what do we want um, first we want to show the dialogue start dialogue um, I'm, I'm lazy I'm just going to copy the name here Dialog ID, I mean. And the second thing thing is to make the receptionist sprite look to the south. So to do this, we get we have this res receptionist variable, 
that refers to the NPC. We have access to it because it has it, it's the name that we have where, that we put here, like we did for desk actually. And we want to make her sprite look down, look south. So there is the get sprite function. And we haven't seen in previous tutorial the sprite type from Lua. We used the sprite only in, in the quest editor, but you can handle sprite from Lua, of course, and do a lot of things. In our case, we just call the set direction function. Set direction and the direction is a number, the first one is zero so if you are not sure you can check in the sprite um, it's the same rule for all sprites actually but um, where is it? What? Um, I don't remember, lady blue? <laughs> um, yeah so zero I mean when there are four directions zero is always right and then um we continue counterclockwise like in um mathematics tri trigonometry so right up left down always so we, the answer is 3 set direction 3 and we are happy let's try that for example if she looks all the way back Okay, so <laughs> that's much better. And note that the order has no importance here because, uh, one more time, <laughs> this function immediately returns. Um, let's do this again. It just starts a dialogue. Okay, but um, it's still more clear to put it that way, in this order. Um, so that's all I had to say about generalized NPCs. The exact difference are specified here in the documentation, in the map entities and the non playing character page. So I, I explain here basically what I said in the in this video. Usual NPCs, so they are suited for usual interactions with people. They must have a sprite with four directions and the animations stopped and working, which are automatically started by NG engine, the engine when there is a movement. And we'll see movements in the next tutorial. Okay, um, so that's all for now. I hope you got something out of this video and see you next time. Bye!